was counseling this girl, and she she had a do actually an ex of mine, right? And this dude, even the time when I was dating her, this dude he was a, he this dude was hanging around her. Yo, I'ma be with you. I'ma be with you. But you know, she was like, I love my man, and she was like, Yeah, but well, he would always try to like dog me, and I did this and that. So anyway, he finally got her. He got her, and then as he got her, he this is what I talk about when I talk about shoplifting the pussy, right? Mm-hmm. So a guy steps up into a situation with a girl that he doesn't think that he's in her league. And because he doesn't think that he's in her league, then what he starts to do is he tries to degrade her and lower her self-esteem so that she won't leave. So first thing he does is he separates her from her friends so she has no support. Then she separates her from the family. And then he doesn't. Then when she does things good, he, he, he acts like it's not happening. So she's cooking and cleaning and he's not really appreciating it. It don't mean that. Then it almost becomes like a where he's like, oh, you didn't cook. And then she feels less. And so he's just trying to lower her value of herself. Hmm. Because in his mind, he in his mind he thinks that she's better than him. She's too hot for him. She's too smart for him. Maybe she makes too much money. So he's trying to cut her legs out from her, so she doesn't feel like she she has no options, but to but to go, to to to, to so she has no option to go. Then he isolates her so she don't. There's no voices coming in. Mm-hmm. Then he starts hitting on her. He starts. Smacking her upside the head, it becomes a smack in the head, then a smack in the mouth, then it's a choke, and you know, and then it progressively gets worse. And when she called me and she told me about it, I go, "Look, you, this is not okay, right?" So he's wait, all, that's your ex you're talking about? It was an ex, yeah. And he he took her from you? No, no, no. I I broke up with her. And oh, she, okay. You know, she reached out for help years later, mm. advice. Or whatever yeah. From and her. so the dude was like, and I so I told her, I said. uh so she kept trying to break up with him, and then I said, "Well, how many times did you break up with him and get back with him?" She said, 17 times." Yeah. And I said, "You, there's no, cre- you have no credibility. He doesn't." She goes, "Well, we finally ended it after I spoke. She had spoke to me a couple times, and she ended it." And, she, and I go, "She goes, he, well, he acted like he didn't even matter, that he didn't care, and I feel stupid for all I did, and da 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 da." da. And I go, "It's not over." Mm-hmm. It's not over. I said, but what you have to do is you have to not accum- you have to not communicate with this crazy dude because the only way somebody can manipulate you is if they talk to you. If I don't give you an opportunity to talk to me, you can't you can't you, you, you can't manipulate me. Why do women stay with men that they think are pieces of shit? And I don't really understand. They don't that. think their value is They don't, they don't good think enough. their value. They think it's that an insecurity we, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You man, school two hundred two. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't.